With iOS 26 being released to the public, there will be a ton of people updating. Of course, it is a new update with a brand new design and it is very popular and according to Apple, it has been the most popular beta ever. So a ton of people will update right away to the new iOS 26. So if you decide to update your device to the new iOS 26, I will show you guys a few things that I believe you must do immediately after you have updated your device to this new iOS update. Now another thing you must do is subscribe to the channel because most of you guys that watch my videos are still not subscribed and I will be releasing a ton of videos on iOS 26 so if you want to see them make sure you hit that subscribe button it really helps out a lot. Now first of all we're talking about updates now a ton of people have been updated to the betas of iOS 26 and even if not then you will actually have to do this once you're updated. You need to make sure that you have your updates set up the right way. Head on to your settings, go under software update and if you have been on any of the betas of iOS 26 and you no longer want to continue installing betas because we will have iOS 26.1 really soon going into beta then make sure you go ahead and go here and just turn them off completely. Now if you have all already updated to iOS 26 RC or you're updating to the final release, make sure that you also have the automatic updates actually enabled right here so you will be able to get basically the new releases that Apple will release. There might be like smaller updates coming really soon so you go ahead and update to them automatically without you having to actually do that manually or waiting for a bigger release. Now another thing you must do while you're here, just go back here, go to the general settings and head on to the about section. Now all you have to do is just enter the about section and stay here for like 10 seconds. Usually when a big release comes out, a lot of the carriers will push updates for the carrier. So you want to have the latest update for your carrier so you have better seller coverage. Now all you have to do here, as I said, just go into the about section and just stay there for like 10 seconds. And if there is an update, it will pop up on the screen in the middle of the screen right here. And all you have to do is just tap the install button and it will be done in a matter of seconds. You don't need to reboot your device or do anything like that. It is very simple and very fast and you will have your latest carrier updates installed on your device. Now another thing I suggest you do and you must do this is make sure that you have all of your apps up to date. Now right after the update releases and even before the release there will be a ton of like apps pushing out updates to actually be more compatible with the new software and a lot of them will also feature the new liquid glass design and the new keyboard which does require an update from the app which is actually a really cool new keyboard so what you want to do is make sure you have all of your apps up to date so head on to your app store go to your account and make sure all of the apps are actually updated to their latest version. Now, if you don't want to bother with that, doing that manually, because of course, throughout the weeks, there will be a ton of other updates, then head on to the settings right here, go under apps, and then you will have the app store right here. Just go ahead and under automatic updates, enable app updates. This will make sure that the apps are automatically updated to their latest version, so you don't have to bother with checking them or just updating your device's apps manually. Now one thing which is really important that I suggest everybody does after each update of the iOS, even if it's a smaller update, head on to the settings and go under the battery section and then go to battery health. Now this is why I'm saying this. Now usually the percentage of the maximum capacity here won't change until you update your device. You might have noticed that you will have, let's say like I, I have it here at 89%, it will stay for like this for like a few weeks or months and then when you update it drops like two or three points, sometimes even more. That's because it is not actually properly updating and once your device is updated to new software, iOS will recheck all the components of the device and then will show you the true battery health that you have. So when you update your device to the new iOS 26, it might drop two, three, or maybe even more points if it hasn't updated correctly in the past. Now, why this is important, because if you have a battery that is close to drop under 80%, which is of course the limit where your device won't perform as it should, if you have it at let's say at 80 or 81 or 82, once you update it, it might drop 
below 80 and then your device is not performing as it should and you will have to change the battery. So make sure you go ahead and check the battery health after you have updated just to make sure that it's still over 80%. Now another thing you should do right here under the battery section is go ahead and go to the power mode and enable adaptive power. Now this is a really cool new feature that Apple has added to iOS 26. So basically what it does is that it will adjust the way the battery works in order to give you like better battery life on your device. It is a really cool new feature. So you enable it right here and you will also be able to enable the notifications for adaptive power which means that once it's activated it of course does activate automatically in the background but then when you have this enabled it shows you notifications letting you know that it's actually working so go ahead and enable both of these now another must do thing is customize the home screen once you have updated just go ahead and try out the new customization options you have a ton of options right here tap the edit button go to customize and here we'll have the new clear icons you can add a tint for the background there or not you will even have the new tinted way here so it's different from ios 18 and you will have like a lot of different ways here to tint your icons of course you will have the sliders right here but you can also now tint the icons based on the color of your device or the color of the case that you have on your iPhone, which is really, really awesome. So you can do that as easy as that. Of course, you have the bigger and the smaller icons right here, but just go ahead, customize, try the new clear icons. They actually look really awesome. And of course, give your device a brand new look. Now, another thing I suggest you do is go ahead and configure your Photos app. Now, with the Photos app on iOS 26, we have a brand new design here, ton of new features. We have basically the ability to just just like categorize everything here and just rearrange everything we have. You can see right here different sections. We have the media types right there where we have all the different media types and different utilities. Now what you can do, if I go to utilities right here, I can go ahead and rearrange my utilities as easy as that, simply drag anything you need. What you wanna have something at the top that you use the most, you can do that as easy as that. The same goes here for utilities. And you also have your pinned albums. You can basically pin anything you want here. So you can just find anything you need much, much easier. And of course, go ahead and check the brand new apps of iOS 26. This is the games app where you will have everything for gaming right here. So all the things you need here, you have the arcade section, you will have the friends section, everything now is in one place. You will even have the library right here where you have your games and all that stuff. So go ahead, give it a try. And also we have another pretty cool new app called Preview, which if you have used a Mac before, you know the Preview app on Mac. Mac. So this is the new preview app where you can start a new document, scan new documents, take a look at your older documents, edit them, anything that you have on the files app can be opened and edited in this app and it's actually really really useful. And last but not least, now that you have updated to iOS 26, it is maybe a good time to go ahead and give a look at your privacy settings. Make sure that everything is as it should be. So go ahead here to your location services. If you have it enabled, check the apps that have access to your location. See if they're correctly configured. If you don't want to have any app have your location, you go ahead and turn them off. And then go here. We'll have a ton of things like your files and folders. You will have your contacts right there, your photos. Go ahead and check those things like your Bluetooth, local network, which is really important, your microphone, your camera. Just make sure that any app that doesn't have to be here is not here. So when I go, let's say the microphone, if I see an app that shouldn't be here, I just go ahead and turn it off because as you know, when we install a new app, we get a ton of pop-ups asking different permissions and we might just enable something by accident. So make sure you go here and have everything configured as it should be. So that is it for this video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and all these tips and tricks that you need for iOS 26. So that is it. Hit the like button if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe for more. And I'll see you on the next video.